three video. Welcome to the channel guys. I know it's been a little while. Today we are going to do an update on the E92 M3 um, and we're going to take it out for a drive and today is the middle of December in the Midwest and uh, almost 40 degrees out so probably not the best climate uh, for a sports car with summer tires but that's okay it'll probably be the last drive of the year for sure um, but I haven't driven it on the channel in a bit and I want to do a quick little walk around, give you an update. The M3 is still around and uh, we will go for a brief drive. All right, so let's take a peek inside the engine bay. Generally, it's like literally bone stock. There's a tune, different intake, couple other very small things. It definitely does need a detail. Uh, I haven't really messed with it. So that's kind of the inside. Um, Hood gets open to trickle charge it, which I certainly recommend. All right, let's make our way down the car. Uh, competition wheels that are refinished. Um, spacers, these are actually 17 millimeter spacers by Future Classics. So you guys are gonna go the spacer route. These are substantially better than, I went through I think two or three other uh, spacers that gave the steering wheel some shimmy. So definitely these are better. The paint match little uh, reflector things for the US car so guys that are in Europe have no idea what this is but this is normally an orange reflector because the DOT thinks we need them uh, but we can just put that there PPF on the whole car except for the roof and then splitters up front so if you guys have seen other videos on this car it hasn't really changed a lot um, Life is busy and I like the way it's set up generally. Angel eyes, you know, the uh, factory lights are also not my favorite, but it's a pretty hefty price to jump into a modified headlight. Uh, so I haven't really done that. Um, we got the rest of the car, I'll show you the rest here. We've also got the two-tone interior, which is again, not my favorite. You guys have probably heard me talk about that, but actually I feel like it's aged better than um, like years ago. Uh, it was kind of a little more critiqued and now I think it kind of works a little bit better in today's day and age, believe it or not. Uh, that's just my opinion. But um, anyways, yeah. So car looks generally like OEM plus, very OEM plus. Got the cool plate, Team V8. Um, cause obviously I, apparently I like V8s cause all of the cars are V8s and I didn't really think it through, but it is what it is. No shame in that. Um, yeah, so I have the test pipes with the muffler mod. I think the next change uh, next year, like in spring when I start driving the car a little more will be the exhaust. So we can talk about that because I really think it's time to change it up. I'll probably drive the car more. Keyhole cover, which is super nice. It uh, removes the hole that uh, you put your key in, which I don't know why I would need that. So that's changed out. That's a video. We got the pedals, which is a video. We got the steering wheel, which is a video and Alcantara maintenance. So there's lots of good videos on this car. Um, let's do a mileage check for accuracy here. 50,000. So obviously for those of you who say I don't drive it, well, there's 50,000 miles in the car. So clearly someone's driving it. And uh, anyway, so that's it. Walk around here. Um, I have a GTS lip that uh, I have had for five years, so maybe I'll put that on at some point. But anyways, life's been busy, and uh, let's get in the car, start it up, and go for a drive. Ten-year-old car. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. So when you drive this car, um, it's every time is very special. And I know that sounds really cliche, but um, that's really a, one of the biggest reasons why I still have this car is the, the, the happiness and the exciting part of, about it hasn't ever really changed. And there's faster, newer, like there's two more generations of M3 now and um, they're appealing in many ways, um, but this just has that emotion and 
connectedness and of course it's not nearly as fast as newer cars which is the way it goes for every generation they don't ever make them slower uh, certainly not with performance cars or more performance oriented cars um, so but I would say is maybe the performance in today's market is not as fast or capable but it still has all the other um, parts to it. it has the emotion has the sound it comes in a manual it comes in four doors convertible coupe like it has all these different flavors so for me the e92 is a great sort of modern not modern classic but car that's not new you know it's 10 years old that i would say is still worth considering so one complaint i will say uh, about the e92 and a lot of bmws in general seem the seat even with the, the, I have the manual non-heated seats, which I think was certainly a, uh, something you should look for because the electronic seats, like where you can move your seat fore and aft, I believe are the terms, fore and aft. Uh, if you have buttons to move it, um, it feels higher end. However, you sit higher. And I would say I'm already sitting too high in the seat that is manually adjusted. So I think, and I'm not even tall. And this is just sort of a preference, but um, if you get one of these cars, getting the manual seats, if you're not gonna change them out, is certainly the way to go. You sit a little bit lower, um, and I don't, when are you moving your seat around that much? Like, most of these cars you guys are gonna own, and like, you're gonna get in, and then you're gonna get out. Like, when are you moving your seat? Modifications and maintenance is more than a normal car or even a normal BMW. The oil is more expensive, so I would definitely recommend doing the uh, exchange program from FCP Euro. And that's 5,000 RPM. This the car goes to 8,400. The thing, my thing is, the F80 and the G80 are like substantially faster than this car. Like, very fast. The, the F80, even stock, I, I think is very, very, very fast. <laughs> but this car has enough to where driving in traffic, <laughs> it's almost too quick. And I know they're like, oh, bro, but it's so slow, blah, blah. Drive one. If you haven't driven one, it's too slow for you. Get a different car, that's fine. Um, but what I was saying about the FCP program, the first time I did it is kind of annoying, but all you do is once you buy your first oil change kit, you can buy a, uh, a second one and exchange the first one, and all you do is pay for shipping, which is like 15 bucks. And so I literally pay $15 per oil change for all the cars. And so everyone, you know, oh, it's so expensive to own a BMW, and I'm like, the oil change costs less than, you know, a Toyota. So what are you talking about? And it holds its value, unlike your Toyota. Or Honda. Or other cars. I literally just got chills. I haven't driven this car in like two months, sorry. Actually, no, that's why. It's been like one month. We got a Camry. Watch out. Yeah, so the oil is warm, 210, just shy below that. So you definitely need whatever road I picked is pretty good, but I can't, it's too cold to. Woo! Oh, I need to, I need to cool down. I really like this car, if you can't tell. Oh man. It's like, when you see the opportunity, you're like, oh, there's an open road. That's what you need to do. Oh man. If you guys can see, this is the kind of road that is fun. just like a GT car or a cruiser like it is comfortable it's livable getting in and out is very easy you don't have any bucket seats but it 
it really does shine in the corners. It, it does a good job. It, it's still a good sports car, um, which explains, that's the whole premise of the M3, is it's a sporty car. You can drive as frequently as you want. So, other things on the maintenance, it's more expensive than a normal car, but you're getting, you're not getting a normal car. Uh, you know, you're getting an 8,000 RPM revving, like a little monster here. It's, it's solid. I mean, it, it's solid. I don't know which way to go. literally will take you to different places whether you're doing this whether you're taking a nice Sunday drive or whatever the case may be um, it it's it's very nice it's intoxicating Don't get a DCT, come on. Like, you're, you're better, you're better than that. Oh, God, this road. I can just shut up and drive. That works too. 7,500 RPMs. This road is legit, I like this. Into it. Let's go left. Undulation on the left, and then we'll bear right. And that sign, the squiggly, that's what, that's the sign you want to see. Dude, I need to, uh, drop a pin for myself. This might be my new spot to get out of my own head. Driving therapy or... Next. 